What I Eat Wednesday, I am making my boring breakfast cereal a little more interesting by adding holiday nog. This one is the So Delicious Vegan Eggnog. Um, it's called holiday nog. The best was Noel Nog, but I don't know if they make it anymore. I don't think so. I remember last year I was trying to find it and I went on their Facebook page and they said they got rid of it. Um, but maybe next year we'll be back, so I'll have to look. I couldn't find it at the store I went to, so I got this. Um, it's okay. Dan, like, tried both of them. He's like, nah, I can definitely tell the difference. I don't mind it. I think it's good. It's not as good as the other one, but that's okay. So, I'm having shreddies. Is it shreddies? No, mini wheats. I always get that wrong. But mini wheats for breakfast. Um, just because that's what we had. Um, and so I did half regular or like vanilla almond milk, which is like 30 calories a cup, um, and then half of this one. Um, so not even, I don't have a full cup of milk, but of course this one is 90 calories for half a cup. So a very high in calories, that's why I did half. But it actually makes it taste better. I do not like mini wheats, but that's what we have in the pantry for breakfast. But it actually makes it really good. So, yes, yeah, I'm liking my breakfast a lot more now. I'm going to have some tea. Um, the David's Tea Advent Counter Tea of the Day is Creme Caramel Rooibos. So that's what I have here. And this one used to be my favorite about two years ago. Um, and I actually got a whole tin of it, which I believe is empty now. Yes. <laughs> All empty, so definitely one's my favorite. Um, and I'm gonna be eating some cookies with it, ones that I made. You've seen my vlog when you have seen it, but these are the cinnamon stars, uh, cinnamon stern, mm, with like an egg white glaze on top that then you bake. Delicious. And then I'm baking some gingerbread dog cookies right now. It's all like human ingredients. <laughs> so I mean, I probably will sample one too, but um, right now they're just being made. <laughs> but I'm just going to enjoy my tea while I bake. For lunch, I am just having a very quick lunch. I have to work at the vet today. Um, so, and I spent most of my morning baking. So I just have a veggie burger um, with one of those thin buns that's very crispy. Uh, I'm just gonna have that and then to work, um, I'm not going, I'm just going for half shift from 1 to 5.30. Um, so I probably shouldn't be that hungry. But just in case I am, I am going to take a banana with me. Um, yeah, in case I do get hungry. <laughs> Snacking on some chocolate that work. I'm home from work and I'm going to be making a quiche. So first I'm making some pie dough. Um, I have a whole carton of um, egg whites to use up, so that's why I decided quiche. Because in my baking that I've been doing, it calls for a lot of egg whites, like three egg whites in one and two in another. So I'm like, oh, so I don't have just a bunch of yolks lying around. So I bought like the carton and then I started making it and my mom saw she's like, oh, you can't make the cookies with fake or like, or like not fresh egg whites. It has to be the ones from the egg. So I'm like, oh. So now and then I had a whole carton that I don't know what to do with. And I had already opened it. So it has to be used now in the next little while. So anyways, first up, making my pie crust. I just put in flour, salt, vegetable oil, and milk. And so we're just mixing it together with a fork, and then I'm pushing it into my pie crust pan. So I haven't actually made a pie crust myself, I don't think, um, but that's okay. So we're just gonna poke some holes in it, um, and then we're gonna bake it in an uh, oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for just about 15 minutes, because no one wants a soggy bottom, as Mary Berry would say. So I'm working on my filling. I have onions, a little bit of garlic, and mushrooms. And then I am adding in spinach. And we're gonna let that wilt. Actually, I probably should have cut them up a bit more, but that's okay. And then here I have my egg whites. <laughs> the, the recipe calls for 10 egg whites. In the whole carton, there's 14, so I used, you know, almost all of it, maybe like, there's still this much left or so. Uh, and then I put in 
some garlic, salt, cayenne, paprika, and oregano. So then I added some Eve's veggie salami um, and have that in the mixture with everything. And then I have grated some cheese, some real cheese. <laughs> this one is Little Qualicum brand. Um, it's the Hot Jill, so it's like, I think, I mean, I imagine like a pepper jack, but pepper jill and with peppers. <laughs> um, anyway, so it's a local cheese factory, cheese, I don't know what you're called, them. a cheese works? Yeah, Cheese works. Um, anyway, so I contacted them and asked them if they use rennet or any animal, like, enzyme, um, or if it's just, anyway, so they said no, they don't. They yeah, use a different microbial agent and not run it. So it is completely vegetarian. They said, obviously not vegan, because it's dairy, it's from the cow. But they said, yep, yeah, all of their cheeses are vegetarian, no run it. So I'm like, oh my God, I can have real cheese. <laughs> as much as I love the day one, well, no, I don't really love it. I just manage it. But it's just, oh, it's so nice to have real cheese again. Um, my downfall, it's expensive for this little block. It was $10. Um, so it's not something I'm going to be purchasing a lot, but for now, oh, I just thought it would make the quiche better than if I just had, like, wait, without it. So we have all of the egg whites, and now I'm going to be adding this into it. And I have to work quickly, so I don't want this hotness to um, make egg whites. And then add the cheese as well. Oh, yes. And so now I'm just going to pour this into my crust. Ooh. And just mix this around a bit so we have the veggies and everything evenly spaced. Oh, that's actually a good amount. So now I'm going to pop this in the oven uh, and bake it at 375 degrees for about 25 minutes. I took it out of the oven. <gasps> That's looking pretty nice. Now is the truth if it's gonna stay together or completely fall apart or if the crust is gonna be soggy on the bottom. Wow, it actually stays up. That's pretty nice. It I was worried it was just gonna completely fall. I put it in for another 10 minutes after. Um, and yeah, ooh. I'm gonna taste it. Mmm! That's really delicious! The crust is a little dry, but it's just, it was with oil, it doesn't have butter or anything in it. I think I made the crust a little thick, but I'm really impressed that it held together, so the flavor is really good in there. Are you putting ketchup on it? I put ketchup on Ketchup on a quiche? Mm. I do it. Mm. I dip it in. Mm -hmm. We'll try at least once without. Okay. Ketchup on a quiche. Do any of you guys do that? <laughs> I don't. I don't put ketchup on my eggs or anything. I put ketchup on eggs. Exactly. So, but this is a refined egg dish, not just like scrambled eggs. We're not at a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think it's a soggy bottom. Well, maybe the very middle. <laughs> It's about 9 o'clock now and I'm just having some tea. I am steeping day 6 of the advent calendar. This is apple cider. It's one of my favorites so far. Uh, so just, yeah, steeping like that. It tastes just like apple juice, <laughs> like hot apple juice, but it's tea and you're not getting all like the unhealthy sugar and stuff from when I have these guys. It, but it tastes pretty much the same thing. So that's it for What I Ate Wednesday. I will see you guys next week with What I Ate Wednesday or then tomorrow with my Vlogmas. Bye.